All right, so we're starting up muskrat trapping. There's only one set over here. We unset them all for gun season. But today warmed up a little bit. And so I'm more comfortable with getting my hands wet. As much as I still don't really want to get my hands wet. There's only one set over here right now. Because that's the only one we've really caught anything off of. But I have noticed, like yesterday, I came down here and there was mud coming out of one of the holes. Like, it was freshly used. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take one for the team and get my hands wet. Looks like they've actually used quite a few of these holes. There might be a hole here I haven't found. There's just mud right there. Yeah, there sure is. There's a hole going up under that. Or it might just be somewhere they're working. Yeah, that's mud. And there's a ledge right there. It looks like they've just been working that ledge. And there's not anything in the one that's set. I'm going to get all these other ones set back up. Might even set a couple more. Because I did see some spots where it looked like it could use one. Um, I think there's a hole right, yeah, right here. Oh man, I really don't want to reach my hand out there. Yeah, it's been cold enough. There's a thin layer of ice. This one was actually set off before we unset everything. So this one had some action, just didn't work out, but it had some action. Get all set up. Let's see if I can get some of that ice out of there. Get set right up in the hole just like that. And hopefully I'll have one. Get up out of here. See there's just a run right here. It looks like it's freshly used. We had a drowner. Can't use footholds here, so that kind of takes out a lot of opportunities. There might be a hole right here in the water. Kind of looks like it. No, that's just mud. Got a little water up my sleeve. Hmm. There's another run right here. The genre would be nice, huh? Oh, I might have just found a new hole. I sure did. Looks like that's a pretty good hole, too. Yup. There's mud coming out of it, so it's, it's been recently used. I set one on that. Actually, I might just move this one over there because this one isn't really that great of one. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Yeah, just using simple 110s. Slide right down here in this opening. That's actually a pretty deep pull. Just like that. I bet that one gets one pretty good. Because <laughs> I never noticed that hole before. Right? It looks like a really good hole. Yesterday. If I can, right here. This one right here, there's mud straight out of this hole. I was kind of upset about it. Because if I had a trap there, we got one. There might be a hole right here, too. Yeah, there is. And that clump of dirt right there. I make it really hard to set one right there because of that. Let's move it right out. 
gonna have to go grab another trap because there's two holes right here I bet there's more holes deeper right there that's like a straight drop off that makes it kind of hard tell you what this ice is just thick enough to make it pan the butt kind of make sure all the ones I have set are deeper too because that ice would be messing with them if they're up high enough this one here is a really hard one to set that's kind of hopefully i think it's supposed to warm up so it shouldn't really matter hope so anyway right, i'm gonna grab another one of these traps I have a couple drowners right here. I'm going to take down the mink. That's where I'm going after this. I should have a couple more 110 rigs up in here. Yeah, I sure do. Get one of these set down there. That trigger's kind of loose, but it should still work. Hope so, anyway. I like wiring these on. But that was lovely. I don't have any stuff with me right now. I didn't really plan on set anymore. I think that ledge goes all the way up. Yeah, it sure does. That's gonna make things kinda, this is gonna be a tough one to try navigating them into. Right there should, ow. Yeah, they should swim right around there and get caught in there. Oh, there's a heck of a hole right there. I can't do anything with it though, it's too deep. I'm not. I'm not reaching that deep down in there. I'm kind of checking this again. See if there's any holes I missed. Okay, that's one I just reset. I think there's another hole right here. Or it's a run anyway. Actually, I might move this one over because I think it's Oh, there's a tadpole. Yeah, that's centered better now. That should be a lot better. I feel like there's probably one right in here somewhere. Like, there's just a straight drop off right over this ledge. And it's really hard to get to them because they're so deep. I have another one. The hole's actually completely submerged out here. It's set off. The water's kind of cloudy, so I can't really, can't really see it. Wherever it is, I might have to wait till the water clears up some to get to it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to wait till it clears up. I can't see it right now, the water's too cloudy. Uh, that's it for here, I'm gonna head over to the other pond. I have a few drowners already set over there, I'm gonna set two more. There's a 110 and two mink sets over there. I'm gonna set two more mink sets and if I find any muskrat holes, I'll set, I'll set another 110 or two. I'm gonna head over there now. Okay, this is where I set a mink set yesterday. But I didn't have a drowner with me. So I ended up just putting a coil spring right here.
but I brought I brought a drowning set with me today. There's two really used dens right there. And that's what the hoop is. I because yesterday I could have swore I saw a mink run in one of them holes. That's kind of what we're going for here. Yeah, I got down here, I realized I forgot weights. So I, I went around, found found two pretty heavy rocks. I don't know. I think there's tree roots all over the place right in here. So it makes it really hard to find anywhere to put. I wouldn't mind having it up here on land. There we go. Um, here's the trap. Just the normal coil spring number one. That's a massive drop off right there. So it's it, it's definitely it'll work the way it's supposed to as a drummer. This type of pipe set, I like having the trap uh, like six inches off the front of where the, the front of where the bait is. Or I want to try walking to is that rock ledge over there across the pond. So I know, I know that the mink run that. It's hard to really get around to it without a boat or anything though. So I'm gonna try finding a way to walk over there. So I'd like to do anyway. Make sure I make that out towards the water a little bit because I'm kind of worried about a raccoon coming along reaching from the, grabbing it from the bank. You got the drowner set. It's so ready to go. Right. Okay. Get my trap set down. Okay, the pipe's the most inconvenient to carry around. So I'll try to find somewhere to put that first. really like up under these rocks I left my little spade up that's a four-wheeler it's kind of a pain in the butt now I'll set the 110 first there's a spot where I want to put that right to here so I'll set that right down there if I can get the if I can get the stake in anywhere to hold it Get it set up. There you go. And just all I have to do is just try tucking it up under there, I guess. I wish I had a camera down here. This. Try clearing that out a little bit. Oh, that might actually be. Yeah, that there goes way up under there. Honestly, I might. Okay, I'll tell you, what, I'll put the 110 right up in here. See if I can get stay down in. All it's here is rock. I don't want to. It's hard to get to go down in and stay. here to help all right that should work kind 
kind of thinking I might Stepping right there. I don't know that my hat took off. Okay, I think I know where I'm gonna put this. Because I can't stick the pipe in anywhere. There's already a little cubby right here. Where I might be able to just do it like that. Kind of get a trap bed dug out here. And that should be pretty good. Oh, it's gonna be hard to find somewhere to put the put the steak though. But I really want to catch me a mink, so I'll make it work. More than I already have. So if you want it bad enough, you'll find a way. I can tell you that much for sure. It's gonna be hard to do. Everything here is rock. Even if I can just get it shoved up in there somewhere, I would be happy. Like I said, everywhere here is nothing but rock. Maybe. You might just have to wire it to that root and just pray that I don't get a raccoon. I know a mink won't kick that off, but a raccoon for sure will. So I'm just gonna have to really hope that a raccoon don't come strolling by here. Because if one does, it's over. Get my weight out there. That was lovely. That's how you know you got it set up good. I could just see, I did have it set up on a ridge here where it would stay. And I take it, it had other plans. I could just get it out there. I'm just using a lost less long spring Duke one. I usually don't use long springs, but it has a really tight pan on it. I really don't like it. That's all I got over here, so. I'll have to work clear out that bank a little bit. That's somewhere for the dog to go. See if I can get it bedded down in there. Alright. I need a thicker stick. This is my homemade bait here. There's muskrat in it and everything else. Basically all the good stuff. All the good stuff a mink would like to eat. Always make sure I put plenty of it in there. Now if they don't get caught right away, they have to take more time to get it all. Got the bait in it. I just gotta get my lure. And I gotta go check two more traps right over there. And that's it. Just put that right up there. Lay the stick right there. And hopefully, tomorrow, there's a mink in that. We got this 110 right here. 
And that's it. Right here, I'm gonna make my way back.